Hello everyone. So this video here is for those of you who might already be freelancing and uh, maybe are earning something, earning a living even, but you're finding yourself constantly stressed out. You're finding yourself not wanting to deal with all the stuff that's coming up and constantly chasing after stuff. Always two steps behind based on whatever's going on, whether it be invoicing, chasing up payments, uh, trying to keep up with you know whatever marketing you need done, keeping up with your actual work. And, uh, and keeping the clients happy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because there's a lot you need to do. And when you're a freelancer, when you're working on your own, you need to do everything. You wear all the hats, from the marketer to the manager to the person who fills up the coffee machine and, uh, and buys the staples. So it's very easy once things get going to find that it's, uh, you're always one step behind and trying to keep up with everything happening. And uh, in a way, this is a good problem to have because it means you have work and you're earning a living. You're at least earning something. But in a way, it's very bad because you got into this business so you could be your own boss, but you find yourself never having time to do anything because you have to handle everything going on. And so it can be very stressful. And so I found and I've seen with other people uh, that the best way to deal with this is to, well, create a system. And uh, what you want to do is you, you want to divide up what you're doing. You want to uh, look into all the steps that you're taking, whether it be as a translator, if you're a freelance translator, um, you, whether, whether it's the marketing, the troubleshooting, the um, admin stuff. And this can also include the back and forth with the client and dealing with that, the payroll, the invoicing, keeping up with the payments coming to you and getting supplies, getting, I mean, whatever it might be. You have all these different departments, if you will. And that's how you should treat your business. It is a business. So you should have, have head of marketing department, head of uh, admin and general manager and this, that, and the other. And you should have these titles and you should lay them out. I found what was best for me was actually to write them down as if I'm creating a company organizational chart. But you should at least keep it in mind. And yeah, if you can, just write these down and under each title, write your name because you're the one who does everything, right? And then when you go through this, you should, you should look into, okay, what do I like and what don't I like? Why did I get into this business? Is it to do this and that? And there are a couple there that you probably like or enjoy. You know, maybe if you're a translator, you like the translation part. You actually don't mind that part. And that's what you're good at anyway. But maybe you really don't like having to chase payments or, you know, doing the marketing aspect or doing admin stuff or something along those lines. So you should separate out what you're good at, what you like doing, and what you're not so good at and what you don't like doing. And once you have this organi organizational chart, then what you can do is create this system to make it work without you. And what do I mean by that? Basically, basically, I mean outsourcing, finding other freelancers to handle this stuff. And, and for this, you can use the same websites that you've been using to find jobs until now, and especially ones that are generic like upwork.com, and uh, I mean, that's the main one. You also have freelancer.com and others, which I don't like nearly as much, but I would suggest to go to upwork.com and see if you can find someone to help you out with certain aspects of this. Look, at the beginning, as with anything you do, it, it'll be more work because you're gonna have to explain to someone, be like, okay, I need this done, I need that done, I need uh, you know this marketing stuff done, or I need to chase up these payments. Also, you're gonna have to see how much you wanna share at the beginning regarding the payments. You know, Maybe you wanna leave out some personal information, which is something you need to add or subtract and figure it out. But once you figure it out, it can make your life a lot easier. It's true, for a month or two, it's gonna be more hectic, which is hard, and that's why you should take this in individual steps but gradually things can get a lot easier. If you wanna start with something easy, let's say, it would be marketing. And I say easy because most of us aren't in the marketing field and so whatever we're doing probably isn't that good anyway. But if we can find someone else to help out with maybe social media marketing or something along those lines, and then we don't have to think about marketing for a while. And while they're doing that, then we can concentrate on the other stuff, like say, maybe finding someone who can handle payroll. And look, if you're making enough money, there are actually companies who handle payroll and you can try to hire one of those companies. When you're first starting out though, you might want to check with freelancers. And this is the same also for lead generation or maybe if you need to keep up with, I mean, designing your pamphlets or stuff like, you know, there, there's a million and a half things that need to get done. And so you really should start seeing yourself as a company. And when you do, you can create this organizational chart and then create the system so that 
other people can work on stuff. Now, you can say, okay, you know, I know what needs to be done, say, for the marketing or for invoicing or something, but how do I explain it to someone else? The best way there, again, is to create it like a company. I would do step-by-step -step processes. Like if you're a boss and you have to hire someone new and they need to be taught what to do, chances are they would have gotten a file with, you know, step-by-step, -step, okay, what you need to check for this, you need to make sure the payment is in every day or every week or whatever it is. If it's not in, then then see what happens. Send one email, you know, maybe after a week you send a follow-up email and then you do, you have a system in place for whatever the job may be. And the easiest way to create the system, by the way, is just to see what you do. Go through a month of what you do or a week or whatever it might be and just jot down what you do and how often you usually do it because whatever you're doing is probably working. And so this is a system you can write down and create for someone else. The handy thing about creating a system, by the way, is that you can also notice maybe if there are inconsistencies or something that could be done a bit better. And also if you give it to someone else to work on, having another set of eyes and someone else working on it, you know, they might come up with something and say, hey, why don't we just uh, automate this or do that or something? And that can help out as well. So you want to, you don't want to forget why you got into this business and it was to do something else. Anything else that needs to get done, as long as you're earning something and making money, you can find a way to outsource it. You can find a way to find someone to help you out with it. You can find a way to create a system so that other people can do what you don't enjoy doing. And that way you can do more of what you enjoy doing and grow your business even more while at the same time having more spare time just to concentrate on that because all this stuff you don't like doing is being taken care of. So once again, this is for people who are already in business basically and already earning something. And so I hope you can find this useful in continuing your business and in helping to grow it to the next level, to a level that you couldn't grow, you couldn't hit that level if you have to do everything yourself. At a certain point, you have to start finding other people to help you out. And this is just the preliminary, the first way to do it. And uh, you know, so you can start creating a real business. And yeah, so I hope this helps and uh, I hope you find it useful. Uh, if you have any other recommendations or things that you like to do in order to uh, lighten the workload, then feel free to let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. If you did find this useful, please don't forget to click like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.